friends, it's Amy Dot the Keto Queen. I hope you're having a great day. It's Tuesday and we're home for work and we are getting ready to make some dinner. So I had a little change to my menu this week where we're gonna have a uh, soup leftover, our leftover soup night, but we ate my soup for lunch. So my mom and my Aunt Frances helped me finish that soup up. So I decided to fix something super easy and fast because I had the rest of the uh, leftover night for a purpose. I didn't want to cook every night this week. So instead of leftover soup, we decided to make us up a really quick chicken broccoli casserole. I love this casserole, guys. So if chicken broccoli casserole sounds good to you, go ahead and share this video and give you some hearts if you've had it before. We love this soup, or not soup, I'm sorry, this is casserole. So I've got the oven on 350. We're gonna cook this in the oven just long enough to melt the topping you decide to put, but it's super easy, it's already cooked. We started off with one steam bag of broccoli. I'm only feeding, I'm only gonna make a few um, uh, plates out of this, so I didn't wanna cook a whole lot of extra. So this is one of those recipes where you can create your own. So this is how I fix it. You can use this as a base and add as much or as little as you want. You can make it for 20 people if you wanna make a big serving. So I'm using one steam bag broccoli, I already steamed it. I just added some uh, cream cheese, some softened cream cheese, a whole eight ounce block. And we're gonna add one fourth cup of mayonnaise. I love an avocado mayo. I think that makes all of my recipes so much better than any other mayonnaise out there. Um, I've tried some other mayonnaises, but honestly, this one I really enjoy. It's not something you have to have to make this recipe delicious. I just truly love this mayonnaise. Now, a friend of mine gave me a homemade mayonnaise recipe that I will try as soon as I have time to try it. But this one is what I get from Walmart. You might not find it at your Walmart. It's called Better Body Foods. That's the brand of the mayonnaise. It's at Better Body Foods. It's avocado mayo. I love Duke's mayo, but this tastes so much better when I'm making recipes with it. So I love the Better Body Brands avocado mayo or Better Body Foods, I'm sorry. So we have one steam bag of broccoli, we have eight ounce cheese, uh, eight ounce cream cheese softened, we have fourth cup of mayonnaise, and we're gonna go ahead and put in our seasonings and then we're gonna mix this together. So I'm gonna use a teaspoon of garlic powder, a whole teaspoon of garlic powder, and I'm gonna use a teaspoon of red pepper flakes because I like a little spice, yes. You do not have to use red pepper flakes or if you do, you can use a little bit. You actually, you know what, I'm gonna go ahead and go down to, uh, I'm gonna do, do a half a teaspoon of uh, red pepper flakes. Just because I want it too crazy spicy. Red pepper flakes go a long way. So I'm gonna back it down to a half teaspoon for this one. I'm also gonna get a half a teaspoon of regular black pepper. I don't know why I just opened it. I guess I'm opening the rest of them. A half teaspoon of black pepper. And I'm gonna do a fourth teaspoon of salt. I can find my fourth teaspoon. Fourth teaspoon. Salt. <clears throat> and these are the seasonings, that's it. So salt, pepper, red pepper flakes, garlic powder, that's all I'm using. Now you can use more if you'd like. We're gonna go ahead and mix this up. Now you guys know when I make a broccoli casserole, I like my broccoli really cut up. I don't like big chunks of broccoli in my casseroles. Why? I don't know, I just do. <laughs> if you like chunks, you can stir this up just a couple of minutes. I mean, just move it around really and leave the big chunks. But I like to beat the mess out of it. I really like to crunch it up to make little these small bites of broccoli. So that's how I'm doing mine. So I'm just stirring it and chunking it up, breaking it up into small little pieces. Honestly, it's almost like a pureed <laughs> broccoli. I know that sounds crazy, but that's how I like mine. I don't mind a few hunks, I just don't big, big broccoli pieces. Okay, and now we're gonna add our chicken. So I went to the store and got a rotisserie chicken this afternoon. Get that piece off. And I just cut up a rotisserie chicken or shredded it up with my hands. You can use as much or as, chick as much or as little chicken as you want. This is your recipe. I've only got one bag of broccoli. So if you're making two bags of broccoli, you probably want more chicken. And this may be too much chicken. I'm just gonna stop in just a second and stir it up. We're just gonna stir the chicken in. And this is yours, guys. So you can do however you want it. This is just the way we like it. This is pretty much it. I'm gonna top mine off with some cheese because it is a casserole. If you don't want to, you don't have to add anything else. Uh, I like a little cheese on my chicken casserole though, don't you guys? Chicken broccoli casserole with some cheddar cheese is awesome. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit more chicken. Now this, even though it's mixed up and it feels kind of creamy, as it cooks in the oven, it's gonna get even creamier. I love a good creamy casserole, especially a broccoli cheese casserole. So we're just gonna stir this in really good. And 
And then I took some cheddar cheese and mozzarella cheese and shredded it up while ago. So we're fixing to top it off with a little bit of cheese. So even though I did put some salt and pepper in here, I like to see a little color. So I'm gonna add a little bit more pepper because I wanna make sure it's seasoned really good now before I cook it all the way. Now if you wanted to, go ahead and take your big bite and see if you need any more. I'm just gonna add some. So I've cooked this so many times, I can look at it and tell them it doesn't have enough. <laughs> Excuse me. So a little bit more pepper. I wanna see some pepper in there. Yes. And I'm gonna do a little bit more salt too. All right, and then we're gonna top it off with some mozzarella and cheddar, and this is how I make a chicken broccoli casserole. Guys, how fast, how easy. You just saw me mix it up. The only thing you didn't witness was me putting it in the bro in the microwave to steam it and me cut, uh, pulling the chicken off the rotisserie bone. So that's all it is to it. I love fast, easy, delicious keto meals. If this sounds good to you, make sure you share this video. Uh, if you love broccoli cheese casseroles, you're gonna love this one. So easy and so creamy. That mayonnaise really makes a difference. I personally think it's a secret ingredient to all recipes that call for uh, mayonnaise. I love that avocado mayo. Now my friend who shared the, um, the, the mayo recipe with me, I am gonna try it one day, I promise. And it actually is made with avocado oil, so it should taste like avocados. We will see, I'm definitely gonna try it out. Now the crazy thing about this, um, this mayonnaise is it doesn't really taste like avocado. I don't, I mean, it doesn't taste like avocado, but the, whatever it is, uh, it really sets it apart from the other mayonnaise out there. Now you guys know my stance on sauces, mayonnaise. There are perfect blends out there for keto that cost a lot of money. I think this is expensive. This is like almost $6 for this small uh, 15 ounce jar, but it's worth it to me. I love it. Uh, but there are some that's out there better. I always say, you know, pick what works best for you. When it comes to sauces, I like to um, make the recommendation that you read the ingredients. If you can read the ingredients, then I feel pretty good about what I'm buying. If it's got like a paragraph, like two paragraphs worth of ingredients and I can half read most of it, then I'm not buying it. And that's kind of how I feel about sauces because there are perfect ones out there, but I mean, who wants perfection at the cost of perfection? Not me. <laughs> I'm not paying $10 for a jar of mayonnaise. So that's how I kind of go with it. Look how pretty this is. Broccoli cheese casserole. Let me put it in the oven real quick. So I got it in the oven. I'm going to come over here real quick, guys, just to see if you have any questions for me. I'm going to move over to this side of the kitchen because it's a little loud in the living room. Just to see if you guys have any questions for me today while we're live. Now, I've got this in the oven. It's going to cook in the oven for probably, I don't know, 15 to 20 minutes. It really is all cooked. It just needs to uh, melt and it needs to uh, jumble all the recipe, all the uh, seasonings together. So, you know, 20 minutes, depending on your oven, the cheese is melted. It's good to go. So, you're not going to see it. We're not going to talk for 20 minutes. So, I will post a picture of it later tonight and remind you of the recipe again today. That's how these videos work. They are live videos, guys. So you might not see it come out of the oven. I can't edit these, but this is how I run the page. Ooh, Brenda had roasted cabbage and meatloaf. Now, I don't know if I'm gonna do it tomorrow, but one night this week, I'm gonna make this new chicken recipe. It's called Marry Me Chicken, and I'm gonna do roasted cabbage to go along with that, and it sounds really good. Love some roasted cabbage and meatloaf, so yay. <laughs> Made country fried pork chops with gravy. Yum, Brenda, that sounds so good. Uh, let's see. Hey, Judy, how are you? I hope you're having a great day. Um, Rosalie uses this kind of mayonnaise. Hey, Sarah, she says she scored the Cuisinart air fryer on Black Friday. You got $105, that is awesome. My mom got hers on Black Friday last year for $129 and I was jealous, so that is amazing, Sarah. I hope you love it. I love my air fryer. Yolanda, I did get the recipe. Yolanda, I'm sorry I haven't responded to you. It's just been a crazy day at work. This week has been crazy. Coming back after a holiday and trying to get caught up. Hey, Angela, she made some air fryer pork chops and Alfredo Brussels sprouts, yay. I never had them until I made that recipe. I mean, I love that recipe for those uh, uh, Brussels sprouts. So I'm glad you like them. Hey, Debbie, how are you? I'm so glad you're here. And if you have any questions, you guys let me know in the comments. That's what I'm reading these for. I wanna make sure I answer any questions you guys might have. Yes, Brenda, I love those red pepper flakes. It makes everything just a little kick of good, a little kick of goodness. Hey, Kendra, I hope you're having an awesome day too. Yolanda made pork chops in the oven, cauliflower mashed potatoes. Mm -hmm. 
Carol, hey, I'm so glad both of y'all were notified. Isn't that awesome? You were talking about last night. It's like the, it's like those crazy Facebook gods who listen into everything, right? So they fixed y'all's problem for you last night when you said it. <laughs> um, Parmesan pork drops in the air fryer with green beans. Lisa, yummy, yummy. Adding this to my menu next week, Angela. I know you're gonna love it because this is so yummy, so yummy. Uh, April says she made the sausage spinach soup and it was delicious. I'm so glad you liked it. It was so pretty, wasn't it? I love pretty food. Y'all know, y'all know I love foods, but I love it when they're absolutely beautiful. And that soup is so good and so pretty. Uh, oh, Carol, she doesn't love broccoli, but Carol, I think you're gonna like it. It's so good and creamy. It's so yummy. Hey, Maggie, she's making this Friday. Um, I know I do know, I do know a lot of Brenda's Brenda. <laughs> um, okay, Bessie says I've turned her on to that mayonnaise. She loves it. Would it work to use raw bro broccoli and raw chicken and just cook it longer? It can, Cheryl. Uh, you can certainly do that. Uh, if you're opposed to using like the microwave to steam, you can always steam your broccoli on the oven too. Uh, I just like to go ahead and use the cooked food so it just cooks faster because you guys know I'm just all about getting it done fast, clean, done for the night. Like That's just, that's just how I try to keep everything. Uh, Ricky is eating already, Debbie. He had some taco soup that's not keto friendly, so he is having leftover soup where my soup, the keto soup, was so delicious that it, it disappeared. Uh, we all ate it up for lunch. April says she's going to order that from our Walmart does sell it, but yours might not. Hey, and we are making a chicken broccoli casserole. We already put it together. It was that fast. Uh, the recipe is in the post as soon as we finish up this live. I'm just checking to see if you guys have any questions for me before I jump off. Peggy said she made basically the same thing last night for dinner, minus the mayo, red pepper flakes, but did add a small drop of heavy cream and a bit of onion. Yum. Onion powder in that I think would be really good too. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Has Barry Enchanted released yet? Doris, did you miss it? Oh my goodness. I think it left last night. We did have it for a few days. I sent messages out. I'm so sorry if you missed it, but it was the first release. It will be back. I promise you that it will be back. So be watching for it, Doris. Um, it will be back. Yes. Uh, yes, you'll be able to see the recipe as soon as I post this video. It'll be in the post exactly. What I did in the recipe, you will see. Um, Nancy, you can't really cut this into pieces because it's a creamy casserole, but you can divide it into uh, servings and freeze it, absolutely. I've never froze mine just because we eat it for leftover lunch. That's why I love casseroles because I can eat it for dinner and lunch. Uh, but yes, you can certainly serve this up into, uh, into freezer uh, portions, absolutely. Uh, da -da -da. Yum, Cindy had the fajita chicken. Um, are Coke Zeros allowed on keto? Hey, Judy, how are you? That's a great question. So it's not that Coke Zeros aren't allowed on keto. It's just that I don't recommend them on a daily basis, like every once in a while, like for a party or an occasional drink. I don't see anything wrong with it myself. The reason I don't recommend it every day, Judy, is because even though it has zero carbs, those Cokes are sweetened with artificial sweeteners that can spike your insulin levels, which cause you to crave food or cause you to feel hungry. Uh, that's the only reason I don't recommend them. Now, I have a lot of friends who drink them every day and they say that does not happen to them. So if that's you, then that's good. But I just personally don't like the sweeteners in those zero drinks. Um, and that's why I don't recommend them on a daily basis. Uh, but I myself like a Sprite Zero on occasion. I just don't drink them every day. Ooh, Glenda's making a broccoli soup. That sounds good. I spent Thanksgiving in the hospital. Oh no, Linda, are you okay? Emergency surgery, I hope you're doing good. It says you're doing good, no lifting. Thank God I'm okay. We are all thanking God you're okay, Linda. I hope you're on the mend. Low carb stuff, cabbage roll soup. Gosh, that sounds good. You guys are making me hungry and I'm just waiting on it. Spaghetti, but I only ate the sauce and the salad. Hey Gail, how are you? Uh, fried chops and steamed cabbage, yum. Uh, okay, any questions, guys? I'm jumping to questions. Hi, Amy. Question, does the keto drinks, does the keto drinks, it says HA. I don't know what happened, Sherry, but I did not get your entire question and I don't see a follow-up. So please, if you have another question, put in the comments. I will check it out. 
Uh, <laughs> got me some shredded Brussels sprouts. I'm gonna fix it in the air fryer. That sounds good. I've said I'm gonna do them in the air fryer too and I haven't yet. Does the keto drinks have nutritional value? There you go, yes, they do have a uh, nutritional value. I'll post that for you. Um, I'll respond to your question. Uh, da -da -da -da. Yeah, Brenda, you're gonna have to tell me that you're from Buda, Texas. So I'll, that way I can remember which Brenda I'm talking to. <laughs> uh, the air fryer that we're talking about is the Cuisinart TOA60. It's actually an older model because I've had mine for a couple of years, uh, but I love it. It's got a huge basket. You can put several things in it. They don't overlap. I can cook four or five pork chops, four or five chicken breasts, tons of chicken strips in there. I love it, love it, love it. Uh, that's why I bought it. I investigated and had a large tray, and that's why I bought it. <laughs> so I love mine. Okay, my husband was ready yesterday. That diet pop really isn't good for you. I'm like you, just occasional. Um, I'm going to have to make this chicken. I'm just reading here. You're amazing. Oh, well, thank you, Angela. I appreciate that very much. I'm here to help always. I have no idea why my computer is freezing on you, Debbie. I'm so sorry. Uh, Connie says she drinks it every single day. Can't give it up. And Connie, apparently it's not hurting anything for you. So, you know, we're all a little different. Uh, the reason, again, that I don't recommend on a daily basis is because of those particular artificial sh sweeteners and those zero Coca-Colas or Pops or whatever y'all want to call them are just those that do spike your insulin levels or can. We're all a little different. And that generally will crave or cause you to crave food or need food. Uh, that's why I, I personally don't like it. <laughs> Debbie says she loves I added my half-naked man. I'm telling you, he walks around here all the time just like that. Um. <laughs> okay, guys, I think I got to the meat. Uh, have you tried this? the Zevia sodas? I haven't, Kathy. I have not tried those. Has anybody else tried on those? I think they're called Zevias or Zenas. They're Z-E-V-I-A. I have not tried them. I honestly haven't even. So Glenn's is uh, freezing up too. I don't know why, guys. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what those are sweetened with. I have not investigated those because I don't drink them. If you want to send me the uh, nutritional values, I'll be glad to look at it for you. But I'm pretty sure it probably has those same sweeteners. Um, I made a killer casserole today. Browned ground turkey with bell pepper and onion and spices. Steamed vegetable melodies. And did a cream cheese and cheese and sour cream spread. Oh my gosh. That sounds amazing, Sherry. You'll probably have to go ahead and put those instructions in there so we can all see that. <laughs> I know everybody's going to ask you to do that. So go ahead if you don't mind. That sounds amazing. Uh... I have been having pro every night. It's helping. Yay. I'm surprised. I'm so happy for you, Brenda. Um, yes, I drink them. They're okay. They're sweet with stevia. Okay, so stevia is not as bad as sucralose and things that are in the Sprite Zeros. Um, all right, guys. I think I got to the bottom. I hope you guys are going to have an awesome night. If I can help you with anything, just send me a message. Let's go ahead and just look at this casserole. I know it's not finished yet, but we can look and see how pretty it is. Yes, I put a little extra cheese on there. Uh, yes, I know it looks like a bowl of cheese, but it's not. It is a broccoli cheese casserole, and it is going to be delicious. So, guys, I will talk to you later. I'm going to start cleaning up this kitchen. If I can help you, just send me a message. Bye, guys.